All right, so before we begin, uh, make sure to lower your window to about this height. It's about, mm, I don't know, maybe two inches. And uh, here's how it looks from the outside. So, I mean, just below, just below this corner, basically. And that'll be so you can access the screws later. Um, also, I taped it up, so because you have to do that later, so you might as well do that right away. Make sure you disconnect your battery. Okay. So I'm removing the inner trim right now. Um, I took off the window thing. goes in there like that. Um, and here there's a little clip. That connects, so after you get the, uh, the window switches off, you got to un unconnect this. It's got a little bit of a reach. Um, this just snaps in, uh, so when you're unclipping it, just take a screwdriver and kind of push, you know, push a little on here and over here and around the edges if you can. I used right here in this side, and I might have put a little bit back on this corner. And you just kind of pull straight up, and that comes off. But in order to get to that point, you need to take off this part. That part sits right in here, the inner side of this handle, uh, like that. And it just goes straight into the handle. So you stick a screwdriver on the bottom side down here, and you push straight off. Right, so then once you pull that out, which just goes straight off into the back with the screwdriver under here, you loosen this up, you pull this off, you disconnect the connector. Then there's two T25 Torx screws down here. Um, here's one. Right here where my thumb is, and there's another one over here. Ah, it's right here. Um, you undo those, and then I got them all in a ball. I forgot uh, there's uh, before, or I guess it doesn't really matter. But before you do the torque screws, just I mean it doesn't really matter as long as you don't start prying at the door yet. There's three screws right here. Right there, and the last one is right there, and they are these uh, gold, golden Phillips. So those are pretty standard. You, you can get those off easily. But this is a T25 Torx. These are what's on the bottom of the door there. And then you take something like this. Uh, I guess you could use a screwdriver too, but I had this thing. Uh, I taped it up so that it wouldn't be, oh, you know, some of the tape rubbed off, you can see. Um, taped it up so it wouldn't scratch my paint so much. Then you stick it in. Now it looks like I did scratch it a little over there. Stick it in the side over here. Here's my scratch, dang it. Um, and you just kind of push up, and then once you get your hand under here, just pull. There's like a snap over here in this corner. Once you get that corner loose, it goes pretty easy over here. You can get this corner pretty loose easy. Uh, there's another snap over here, so you're going to have to use the tool to pry this part off. Then up here, right here where this black and the gray are, there's a snap right behind that. And then over here, there's a snap right over here on this gray and black separation part. And, oh, uh, the next instructions are to lift straight up and remove the trim. Uh, then there's going to be some cables to undo um, as you're doing that. Okay, so there, there you go. Got it off. Um, right here, there's these black uh, like clips. That's what the top of this sits in. And it really helps. I took my pry tool that you saw, which I don't know where it is currently. Oh, it's under the page of that book. 
Um, and since this side was pretty loose, I went ahead and kind of pushed this far corner up first with the help of the pry tool, uh, pushing down here on the back, the underside of this trim. And that got the, that got the door up, and that started making the rest of this really easy to pull off. <clears throat> um, clearly, uh, by a mess of wires and stuff, you can tell that, you know, once you get it off, everything's still connected. So the first thing I had to do was pull this guy out. Uh, it's a little hook. You just push it forward and then kind of unhook them from your latch here on the door. Um, then the next the next connector I would suggest doing is the is this one right here. It connects to the uh, mirror knob on the driver's door. Um, I assume the passenger's probably, oh, well, passenger has the other things up there, um, the window and the lock control. So probably also going to be one on the passenger side. And then, uh, then you can kind of, Bend the, you know, bend the, the trim forward. And you got this whole mess of wires. This one we've already undone, but you got these three. Um, the red one goes in the far bottom uh, at, uh, you know, kind of like this. Red one goes in the bottom. This black one ended up being a huge pain in the butt. Goes in uh, here. So black one goes right here. Up. Sorry about that. Uh, black one goes right here. Red one goes up here, and white one goes down there. And then right here is your puddle light, which you may may or may not work. Mine does not work. Uh, likelihood of me replacing it is probably zero to none. Since uh, I don't know, I might take a close look at it. But I'm sure if it's a whole part, then forget it. It's going to be too much money. All right. And then, uh, of course, your puddle light was connected via this pain in the butt connector. Um, take a closer look at it. It's got the two, uh, like, prongs on the side. The latch is in. So I had to use some kind of small pry tool on both sides to get them off and just kind of pull very really gently. Um, also, this guy right here, which is on the door, which goes to your uh, red blinking light uh, up by your stem, that guy plugs into right here, and there you go. All right, so just another quick shot of in here, all the different locations. So right here, there's a, a clip that keeps the door panel on right here. Right there, and you're all good along the bottom, so you get right over here, and there's one right here, you can tell mine busted, so I'm done there, and right there, and then of course up here, you've got this holding it in the top, which has to be pushed up in order to get it out. If we go over and look at the back of the panel here, um, you can see along the bottom there is nothing. Until you get over here, this guy actually came out. This is the outside of the door. This side over here is the outside door. You got three. This is the top one, bottom, and then there's two right here. Um, then you got right here, and you've got this one is the one of mine that's busted. And then up there, and then you've got this lip up here. It's sitting in that well, holding it in. It has to be pushed directly up, or else you will not get it out or you'll break something. Okay, so since our last update here, I've removed the lock. The uh, driver, this is on the driver's side, so I had to remove the, the actual lock cylinder. And then in here, there's a little clip that sits in the actual, uh, it's a cable that sits into the, uh, the door handle. Unclip that. You have to unclip that. And then, um, on the back here, I've unclipped 
all this junk over here. Every single clip that I can unclip, I've unclipped it. Then, um, turns out, right, so you have to have the window about an inch down in service position when you start so you can get these uh, screws in the right spot. You just loosen them, loosen them until they're loose. Uh, they're not, you know, they're not overly loose. Um, they're not going to fall out or anything. And then I push, you got to push the window up all the way and then I tape it into place so it's sitting in there on the tapes. We got some duct tape, masking tape because I don't really trust masking tape so I use some duct tape. Um, then you go through and you remove these are 10, uh, 10 millimeter hex heads um, and uh, I have them numbered. You can see this is number two uh, for reinstallation order. So this one, the inside of the door one's first then you go to the outside of the door and then you go back to the inside upper corner and you go to the outside lower corner that's four and you go outside inner corner uh, uh, upper outer corner then you go lower inner corner that's six and you go right here seven which is in relation to three it's the next one on the top next to three and then you go down to eight, which is the one next to four, it's right there. Then you go up till nine, which is right next to five. Then you go down to ten, which is right here, next to the speaker, and you're done. Um, oh, the next part that I'm actually going to do here before you can see, I kind of jumped the gun on removing some of the hex heads. Uh, before you remove all those hex heads, you're actually supposed to remove the to this one and this one, which are uh, triple square uh, M8, so eight millimeter triple square uh, hex heads, or I don't know which one to call them. They're actually triple square heads. Uh, let me see if I can find a package. There you go. Um, well, first, I apologize for the background noise, but um, here we go. We got the thing. We got the door off. We got the thing off the door. Unfortunately, if you look at mine, I started resting down here, and actually, my gasket tore off somewhere on the door. So I'm gonna probably have to go find some caulk or something, or or RTV or something to put on that rusty spot uh, to prevent water that comes in through the window from leaking into my cabin. So that's for later discussion. But um, this gasket was pretty sticky and uh, so I guess the first time you take it off it's going to be really sticky. I did have to go around with my covered protected pry tool and kind of pry right here and pry the gasket kind of around in various places, uh, did not have to pry at the bottom. Maybe I should have. But I had to pry both sides. I started with, uh, started with this side, the outside side, and I went to the inside side and pried a little bit. Then I went to the top and pried a little. And then I um, started pulling, and I got the, you know, it pulls forward. It pulls forward towards you. You pull a, you take the top and you pull it towards you, and then you lift it out at an angle because this is the bottom right here and these are the window things as you can see the window clamps are right there um, these are the window things and they sit kind of inside this well a little bit so uh, so that's why you have to pull it forward at the top because the top you can see these are below the outside the gasket the top comes out and then you gotta pull these out because these will get stuck and you also have to remove it sideways towards the hinges because the lock carrier is in there. Um, this is on a pretty flexible bracket, but still. Um, also, I didn't notice uh, there is three. There are, I should say. I say and take a very close look. There's three uh, on the B55. There are three instead of two. Um, triple square. 
um, nuts, bolts, whatever you want to call them. Uh, looks like I can see where two go on here. One right there and one down here, but I can't find out where that third one goes. Um, let's take a quick look inside. Okay, so you don't, so the third one goes right there. It doesn't look like you need to actually loosen that one up. So I'm going to put that one back on really quick here before I forget about it. Um, but other than that, you can leave the window glass in and up and just tape it in place. Uh, I think that's a lot easier and a lot less dangerous than uh, having it all the way down and then removing the window glass because I am not a big fan of removing glass. Um, oh, and then uh, once you get this out, if you want to remove your lock uh, mechanism here, there's two of these uh, dowel things sitting in these holes. They're actually, uh, what you do is you take a punch and you put it right on there, get a nice big one, and you just give it a couple taps, and they tap right out toward, on the, towards the uh, inside of this thing. And then it's all good. So, but yeah, that's how you do it.